Well viewers, Rodalco here. Uh, yeah, we have all been stood down and put on standby with this uh, COVID-19, the virus drama we have worldwide. New Zealand is at the moment in lockdown, so uh, we as essential services only respond when we are being called upon. Uh, so everybody else uh, of my subscribers and viewers, please be safe. Follow the instructions from your governments. What they tell you, wear face masks, uh, glasses, minimize contact and stay home. That's your best bet at the moment for doing. Uh, it gives me a bit of time to do some tankering with some bits and pieces and I'm just going to increase the capacity of my wasp, temporary wasp zapper with uh, reduced uh, ballast. So I'm just going to show you there shortly. We're going for a walk there. Uh, I use this for zapping a few wasps. I now put four ballasts on there, four streetlight ballasts. So they will be two in parallel per transformer. So it's 200 VA limit. I don't want the transformer having too much power. Same as the bottom, but I'll wire these two transformateurs are back to back. So they'll give me a 4.4 kV. It's a uh, four, 200 VA. So that's what I'm aiming for. So we'll see how it goes. No traffic on the road. It's a very airy feeling. It's very quiet. Maybe the old car. Let's let you hear the hum of this and I'll go into more details. Camera on. Energize device. This thing makes quite hot arcs. In the water, I got a water dropper underneath here because of the. Don't want to burn my bench. Overall view, and I'll show talk to you about phasing too. Sure. That copper melts pretty quick, considering it's a thousand eighty six degrees. I'm just gonna do a bit of rehashing. Stand by, I think I burned a hole. Melted the hole in the tray as well, still. So, okay, we're going to unplug safety first. Galvanic separation is crucial. Oh, yeah, here, look. There's a little bit of water, it just destroyed this plate here. It just burned a hole through it. Cool. Well, shit happens, doesn't matter. Now I'll talk a bit about phasing. Uh, we got uh, two microwave transformers here back to back. I bonded them together with a bit of copper wire, although the magnetic cores, the steel laminations will make contact. They're phased correctly, so each microwave transformer is connected to uh, the 200 VA ballast, which is in series parallel, and I'll make a diagram for that. They're phased in correctly. If they're phased in not correctly, the easiest way is just to swap two terminals over from one of the transformers, just wire them all up the way they're supposed to, and then uh, if you get no arc, but you still need to be careful, you need to use this chicken stick. Now they're not phased in, and you will get no arc, more or less, and I'll do a quick demo with that. Stand by. 
Of course, with any wiring alterations, have your plugs galvanically separated. Unplug safety first is your most important part, so I'm going to plug it in now. I'm clear. Energized device. And we have a look at what the arc is now. When they're not phased in, they phased in wrong. So they more or less cancel each other out. The units will be still live, but there should be hardly any arc here. As you see, there's no arc here. This arc on the casing will be the 2kV arc. Does the camera pick that? Yeah, that's all right. Got a phased in wrong. There's no arc here. Now I'm going to unplug. I'll do it in one shot so you see I'm not uh, cheating if people are worried about that part. I'll do it in one go. Unplug safety first. Get the plug separated. Now get the phasing correct. I'll swap these two wires over here. We unplugged. Double check. And then we get the phasing right on the transformateur. And I'll re hash back to here. Oh, hang on, let's first plug the plug back in. Energize device, treat us live. Pilot light is back on, and we see we can create an arc now. And that's about 4.4 kV at low current. Wind has picked up a bit. A lot of heat in that copper, very quickly. Diagram will follow suit. Um, stay tuned, I'll unplug the device. Unplug safety first. So, on the diagram which we'll show shortly, let's say from the source, 240 volts here or in America 120 and then I've got the wiring I got this ballast and that ballast they're both in parallel 100 VA so it gives me 200 VA in series with this microwave transformer de-shunted then the other set is this ballast that ballast you could use uh, fluoro ballast or anything but I want to limit the current because it's going to be for the AC wasp type out not a DC that goes into this other microwave transformator. Phasing is correct, so you get 2.2 on one side, central point, and 2.2 on the other side, about 4.4 kV. So put questions in if you're not sure. And an improvised chicken stick, which is nothing fancy. Just a bit of PVC tubing. And uh, yeah, this is just on the first day of COVID-19 video from Rodolco2007. Hope you learned something from it. And if you don't know much about high voltage electricity, don't try these experiments at home. Uh, you need to know what you're doing. Take care. Well, here's a simple diagram. This is the two microwave transformateurs. Here are the four ballasts. Series parallel arrangement and the power source is here. 240 or 120 volts AC.